on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. As you can see here, you see like an unknown villain has arrived on the scene and All Might is attempting to combat him. As this is the All Might versus All for One fight. And yeah, it's pretty much going similar to canon with everyone else watching. But as soon as he starts to lose, everyone's starting to lose hope. Izuku. Yeah, against everyone's wishes, especially Ida. Midoriya, what, what are you doing? I, I, I need to go. Where are you going? Let me go, Ida. I'm going home. What's, wait, what's that? What, when did you have that bag? I said, let me go. Midoriya, what's in your bag? None of your business. I'll let go, please. I won't be asking nicely again. Midoriya, this is not you. Him jerking his hand away from Ida and running off. Them noticing his mask falling out of the bag. He's going to go in there to help. Everyone looking, Bakugo look like there's no fucking way. Them chasing after him. And, uh, yeah. Luckily, thanks to the Gran Torino lessons, Izuku can easily outrun them. And as soon as he arrives, he sees All Might weakened. Trying his best to do that 100% United States of Smash. He still does it. But. Yeah. It doesn't work this time. Right? Right as soon as he turns around, he gets pimp slapped straight through five buildings, and over one is pretty much laughing his ass off. I can't believe you've gotten so weak. <sighs> Honestly, I'm kind of disappointed. This is when he knows his. Wait, someone else is here. As Izuku arrives on the scene, holding an injured All Might full hero costume on, everyone shocked. Like, wait, is that a UA student? Some of them even remarking that, wait, that's the kid from the sports festival who broke all his limbs, fingers, and everything against Endeavor's kid. So they're wondering what's going on. Izuku just looking down all oh my What are you doing here? You should Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. Go home. Sorry but I can't do that. I'm not gonna let him hurt you anymore. I'm just placing all my down. I'll be back. And running in, trying to fight Awful One. I said trying. Yeah, his punches don't deliver nearly as much considering he's holding himself back. He knows he's technically supposed to be stronger than All Might. Prime All Might, at least. The thing is, uh, he has already gotten the whole thing when it comes to maneuverability or the fact that shock absorption is something that can really help but he doesn't have that as he is slowly 
breaking his body down. He people can see his arms gain more of a darker color, symbolizing that yeah, that kid needs to stop or else he's gonna ruin his whole body. But Zuko being himself, he refuses. His awful one is just toying with him at this point point in time and you know what, I'm not gonna kill you. I won't kill all might in front of everybody. In fact him stretching his arm and grabbing him I want you to have a front row seat. His helpful one slowly squeezes the life out of All Might in front of the cameras, in front of the heroes, Izuku, until he snaps and punches off of one. This time he isn't flying. And everyone is shocked to see, like, what, what the hell? Somehow, his arm is back to his normal tent. He's holding All Might, who's still barely being able to catch his breath and stay conscious. We see his hair turns a shade of golden, as huh, blue and green lightning start to surround him. Them wondering, like, is this the same kid, or... Midoriya? Him just saying nothing. Walking straight to the little heroes and heading all my over to them. Uh, what? Who are you? Again, he's saying nothing. Just walking off saying, wait, you can't stay away. But <laughs> I... Uh, Listen, where are the heroes here? Stay out of my way. Or you'll get caught in the crossfire. As soon as Awful One gets back to the stage, he's pretty... Well, looks like there's more to you than meets the eye. Oh, you're not going to talk to me? Fine. I'm just opening up a portal and just trying to grab for All Might again, but Izuku just pimp slaps his hand away. Stay away from him. Or next time you're losing that arm. Huh. Well, that's a mighty, uh, scary threat. You're, uh, Telling me, huh? It's not a threat. Oh, what you say you're gonna kill me? If I have to. Perhaps. Everyone hearing this, all my looking is like, is this the same Midoriya? As craters start to. <laughs> appear with each step he takes as he is brutally beating up all for one and they can tell that this is really affecting him as they see Izuku's muscles start to bulge get bigger more defined as well as more lightning is starting to come out from his body his aura is being a blend of golden green, blue, and it's scary considering that this, is this the same kid that All For One was toying with? Is this the same All For One that beat All Might? Because it is pure and utter carnage. It is not a fight. It is a one-sided beatdown. But all he, he can really say is, is that all you have? 
pretty much baiting Izuku to keep fighting. But then, Midoriya is distracting him. He sees All Might just rise up from the other heroes. He wants you to kill him. Izuku, he just grabs off of one by the next. Maybe I should grant his wish. His final wish. You can't kill him. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can. This is not you. It's, it's not, is it? At least it wasn't. But then I saw you get hurt. He kept taunting you. Hurting you. And he's caused so much pain. <laughs> That's right, I did, didn't I? I hurt so many people. So, why don't you teach me a lesson, young Victoria, was it? Fine. But then he just lets go of his neck. All for one, confused, like, wait, what are you doing? Suku just taking his hand and tearing off All for One's mask and breaking it. As All for One is gasping and slowly dying, trying to get a breath of fresh air, but not working now, is it? He's just walking away. Are you alright? Uh, yes. Good. And this is when he, he just passes out. Somehow, he's still having the golden hair. He doesn't know how to really get rid of it, so... Hmm. And when it comes to the energy... One for all is one hell of an energy boost, don't you think? But as soon as he wakes up, he sees that he's handcuffed. He's surrounded by policemen with heavy duty guns, as well as his classmates, all of them looking a mixture of happy to see he's alive, angry with him for doing something so reckless. Also scared for what he was able to do. Bakugo especially. Because he's realizing like, if he was able to do that to uh, a villain that be All Might, what would he have done to me if he used that power? <sighs> Mr. Midoriya. Huh? Oh, it's you, the chief of... Wait, what happened? I think I remember I... Ugh. I... You honestly don't remember. Strange. W wait, remember what? What happened? As Edith punches Izuku, it's like... You ran off without us and took on this villain. I... Oh, wait. That's right, I... Yeah, you left your little mask. Either I... No. I understand why. But you're being a hypocrite considering what you told me no that was different I you want revenge I want to save someone that doesn't excuse your actions no it does not oh my <sighs> yeah Midoriya what you did was very reckless though we are grateful of the outcome, it could have easily been something far worse. 
are you saying the whole world? At least the ones watching the news saw what you did. It would be wrong to imprison you. But it'll be wrong also for there not to be any repercussions. Wait, what kind of repercussions? <sighs> They're talking about expelling you from UA. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. But I... I just did... I know why you did it. It's just... I, he's looking around, seeing the faces of everyone. They're not looking at him. They're just looking down. Oh, sadness. Oraka and Bago especially. Just, uh, but uh, maybe there's a chance I could get them to reconsider. I don't know. You should look outside. In which there is a large crowd of people. Some people want to see Zuku locked up or face punishment for what he did. The other side, they are thanking him for saving All Might and stopping the villain despite his methods. Still, it's a divided collective. But then, Inko shows up, and you can tell she's not only been crying, but from her knuckles, you can see that she's been punching something a lot. And she just lifts up Izuku and asks him what the hell was he thinking. Everyone who didn't know Inko... Yeah, they're surprised, obviously, but Bakugo, he's like, did you just say? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mom, wait, was this one of you? Since you did something so stupid. Yeah, this is something new for Izuku, because he's never seen his mom mad before. Especially this mad. So it's like, what? I, uh, <sighs> yeah, I cannot allow you to stay at such a school that allows you to do such things that get you in such a... <clears throat> oh, might this is all your fault. We could have been all cheery and happy if it wasn't for you inspiring my boy. Uh, I, I know. <sighs> yeah, you are not staying, UA. But mom, that is final. I don't care what the people outside says. I'm your mother and, and I have last say. As long as you're living under my roof you play by my rules but what if he wasn't under your roof who said that I did a rodent <laughs> of course from your perspective of course but I'm also the principal of UA in light of Bakugo's um, incident, as well as young Izuku's here, I propose um, a counter to prevent such mistakes. Excuse me? Like what? Well, I am proposing a dorm system in which we can ensure the safety of everyone 
You really expect me. My son is not staying in your damn school. You couldn't even protect him. Please, Miss Midoriya, if you would allow me, I uh, would like to try my hand at convincing you.